1 Corinthians, continuing in chapter 10. And I, don't, and I do not wish you to be ignorant, brothers, that all of our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. And all were immersed into Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and all ate the same spiritual food, and all drank the same spiritual drink, for they were drinking of the spiritual rock following them, and the rock was Christ. But in the most of them God was not well pleased, for they were strewn in the wilderness, and those things became types, sorry, and those, yeah, and those things became types <clears throat> of us. For our not passionately desiring evil things, as also these desired, neither become idolaters, as certain of them, as it has been written. The people sat down to eat and drink, and stood up to play. Neither way, neither may we commit whoredom, as certain of them committed whoredom. And there fell in one day twenty-three thousand. Neither may we tempt the Christ, as also certain of them tempted and perished by the serpents. Neither murmur, as also some of them murmured, and perished by the destroyer. And all these things happened that those persons as types, and they were written for our admonition, to whom the end of the ages come, came, sorry, came, so that he who is thinking to stand, let him observe, lest he fall. No temptation has taken you, except that of man. And God is faithful, who will not permit you to be tempted above that which you are able. But he will make with the temptation also the outlet for your being able to bear it. For this reason, my beloved, flee from idolatry. As to wise men I speak, judge what I say. The cup of the blessing that we bless is it not the fellowship of the blood of the Christ? The bread that we break, is it not the fellowship of the body of Christ? Because one bread and one body are we the many. For we all partake of the one bread and see Israel according to the flesh. Are those not eating the sacrifices in the fellowship of the altar? What do I say then, that an idol is anything, or that a sacrifice offered to an idol is anything? No, but that the things that the nations sacrifice, they sacrifice to demonions and not to God. And I do not wish you to come into the fellowship of demonions or demons. You are not able to drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. And you are not able to partake of the table of the Lord and of the table of demons, and table is the same as altar. Do we arouse the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? All things are lawful to me, but not all things are profitable. All things are lawful to me, but not all things build up. Let no one seek his own, but each and others. Eat whatever is sold in the meat market, not inquiring because of the conscience. For the earth and its fullness are the Lord's. And if anyone of the unbelieving calls you 
and you wish to go, eat all that is before you, inquiring nothing because of the conscience. And if anyone may say to you, This is a thing sacrificed to an idol, do not eat it, because of that one who showed it, and of the conscience, for the Lord is the earth, for the Lord's is the earth and its fullness, and the conscience, I say, not of yourself, but of the other. For why is it that my liberty is judged by another's conscience? And if I partake thankfully, why am I spoken of as evil? For that for which I gave thanks. Whether then you eat or drink or do anything, do all to the glory of God. Become offenseless both to Jews and to Greeks, and to the assembly of the God. Of God, sorry. As I as I also please in all things, not seeking my own profit, but that of many, that they may be saved. Chapter 11 Become followers of me, as I also am of Christ. And I praise you, brothers, that in all things you remember me. And according as I deliver to you, you keep the deliverances and I wish you to know that the Christ is the head of every man, and the head of a woman is the husband, and the head of Christ is God. Every man praying or prophesying, having the head covered, dishonors his head. And every woman praying or prophesying with the head uncovered dishonors her own head. For it is one and the same thing with her being shaven. For if a woman is not covered, let her be shorn. And if it is a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her cover her head. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, being the image and glory of God, and a woman is the glory of a man. For a man is not of a woman, but a woman is of a man, for also was a man not created because of the woman, but a woman was created because of the man. And because of this, the woman ought to have a token of authority on the head, because of the messengers, or the angelos. But neither is the man apart from a woman, nor a woman apart from a man in the Lord. For the woman is of the man, so also the man is through the woman, and all things are of God. Judge in your own selves. Is it necessary for a woman to pray to God uncovered? Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man indeed has long hair, it is a dishonor to him? And a woman, if she has long hair, it is a glory to her, because the hair has been given to her instead of a covering. And if anyone thinks to be contentious, we have no such custom, neither the assemblies of God. And declaring this, I gave no praise, because you do not come together for the better but for the worse. For first indeed, coming together in an assembly, I hear of divisions being among you, and I partly believe it. For it is also necessary for sects and cults to be among you, that those approved may become visible among you. You then, come together, coming together at the same place, it is not to eat the Lord's dinner, for each takes his own dinner before in the eating, and one is hungry and another is drunk. Why do you not have houses to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the assembly of God and shame those not having? What may I say to you? Will I praise you in this? I do not praise, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you that the Lord Jesus, in the night in which he was delivered up, took bread, and having given thanks, he broke it, and said, Take, eat, this is my body that is being broken for you. Do this to the remembrance of me. And in like manner also the cup after the supping, saying, This cup is the new covenant of my blood. Do this as often as you may drink it, 
to the remembrance of me. For as often as you may eat this bread and may drink this cup, you show forth the death of the Lord until he may come, so that whoever may eat this bread or may drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, he will be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. And let a man be proving himself, and so let him eat of the bread and let him drink of the cup. For he who is eating and drinking unworthily, he eats and drinks judgment to himself, not discerning the body of the Lord. And because of this, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we were discerning ourselves, we would not be being judged. And being judged by the Lord, we are disciplined, that we may not be condemned with the world. So then, my brothers, coming together to eat, wait for one another. And if anyone is hungry, let him eat at home, that you may not come together to judgment. And the rest, whenever I may come, I will arrange. Chapter 12. And concerning the spiritual things, brothers, I do not wish you to be ignorant. You have known that you were nations being carried away as you were led (coughs) to the mute idols. For this reason I gave you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God says Jesus is accursed. And no one is able to say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. And there are diversities of gifts and the same Spirit. There are, div- let me say this again, there are diversities of gifts and the same Spirit. There are diversities of gifts and the same Spirit. And there are diversities of ministries. Hmm. And the same Lord. And there are diversities of workings, and in the same God, who is working all in all. And to each has been given the manifestation of the Spirit for profit, not financial profit. This is not what he's speaking of, but spiritual profit. For to one through the Spirit has been given a word of wisdom, and to another a word of knowledge, according to the same Spirit. And to another, faith in the same Spirit. And to another, gifts of healing in the same Spirit. And to another, in workings of mighty deeds. And to another, prophecy. And to another, discernings of spirits. And to another, various kinds of tongues. And to another, interpretation of tongues. And the one and the same Spirit works all of these, dividing to each individually as he intends. For even as the body is one, and as many members, and all the members of the body, of the one body, being many, are one body, so also is the Christ. For also in one spirit we were all immersed into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, whether servants for freemen or freemen. And all were made to drink one spirit. For also the body is not one member, but many. If the foot may say, Because I am not a hand, and I am not of the body, it is not because of this, not of the body. And if my ear may say, Because I am not an eye, I am not of the body, it is not, is it not because of this, not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, Where the hearing? If the whole hearing, where the smelling? And now, God set the members of each one of them in the body according as he willed. And if all were one member, where is the body? And now, indeed, are many members but one body. I have no need of you, nor again the head or to the feet. I have no need of you, But much more the members of the body, seeing to be weaker, are necessary. 
and those that we think to be less honorable of the body, around these we put more abundant honor. And our unseemly things have more abundant seemliness, and our seemly things have no need. But God tempered the body together, having given more abundant honor to the lacking part, that there may be no divisions in the body, but that the members may have the same anxiety. Oh, look at that. For one another. And whether one member suffers, all the members suffer with it. Or one member is glorified, all the members rejoice with it. And you are the body of Christ, and the members in particular. And some indeed God said in the assembly, First apostles, secondly prophets, thirdly teachers, afterward powers, afterward gifts of healings, helpings, governings, various kinds of tongues, all are apostles, question, are all prophets, question, are all teachers, are all powers, do all have the gifts of healings, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, and earnestly desire the better gifts, and yet I show to you a far more excelling way. Unity, not uniformity. That's the end of chapter 12. Unity, not uniformity. And those who want uniformity over unity are a cult. And death dealers. And drink the cup without discernment. Godspeed. And I make no distinctions between denominations. I just let you know that. And there are true brothers in many different ones. So that's not my point. My point is, if yours seeks to have uniformity and not unity, if they use scripture to manipulate you, if they disorder scripture in the sense that they take the order of sequence out, like using John 6, to validate something when John 6 was written before Christ had even been crucified or risen and before the Spirit had even been given. They like to cobble the pieces of Scripture together to validate their beliefs rather than allow the Scripture to inform them and create their beliefs. So if you have presuppositions and beliefs before you come to the scripture, you're going to read the scripture through those beliefs and presuppositions, which is you're going to miss the point, and you're going to be blind and deaf, lest their ears should be opened and their eyes should be opened, and they see. So, and that is no attack on any denomination, it is an attack on ideologies and idolatries that are put far above God and His Word. Godspeed. Happy Lord's Day, Happy Eighth Day, Happy First Day, whatever you want to call it. Happy Sunday. Be well at peace and seek the things of God and not of man. Please, I beg you, understand that these words have been manipulated for generations and I don't even think most of them did it on purpose. It's like generational abuse. It's just handed down one to the other, to the next, to the next and Pretty soon people don't even know what they're doing or why they're doing it anymore. That's not wisdom. So I think everybody at this point needs to check themselves, discern themselves. Please. Godspeed. For real this time. <laughs>